At Mohammed Tayyib Ismail's home, 30 men are gathered, all of them rebel fighters. The family arrived in Aleppo one month ago with the Free Syrian Army, having traveled from their homes in the city of al bab in northern Syria. Now they form the Sa'iqa, or Thunderbolt Brigade. Muhammad, the grandfather, is the head of the clan. He's 70 years old and goes to the front every day with his family to fight Bashar al-Assad's forces. My sons, grandsons, brothers' sons are all members of the brigade. Nearly all of them are my family. Every single Syrian Arab capable of fighting must join the Free Syrian Army. The women of the family stayed in their rebel-controlled hometown. Meanwhile, every day the men take turns at the front. Fifteen go to war while the other fifteen rest. The youngest fighter is 18 years old. Adnan worked as a carpenter with his father before he joined the rebels to fight for the first time. I joined the rebellion because of the injustices I saw. I was arrested by the army when I was at a demonstration and jailed. At the front line in Aleppo, the rebels say their ammunition supplies are so low they can't fight every day, armed with only machine guns and bombs against the heavy artillery of the loyalist army. For them, solidarity is key. We feel safe, we protect each other, we are all brothers. It's been 20 months since the start of the anti-regime uprising in Syria, and the violence has not abated. But it hasn't affected the resolve of these rebels, determined to continue their struggle until they see the fall of Bashar al-Assad.